and we are still in the book of Hebrews. And today we want to look at verse 5 in chapter 11 and this is what it says. It was by faith that Enoch was taken up to heaven without dying. He disappeared because God took him for before he was taken up he was known as a person who pleased God and it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. Now as the Bible talks about Enoch and when it says one moment Enoch was and then he wasn't because God translated him to heaven. I mean e Enoch was walking so closely with God. The scripture says that Enoch pleased God, right? Enoch, Enoch pleased God. He was taken up before he, he was taken up before because he pleased God. Now when we look at verse 6, verse 6 tells us that without faith it is impossible to please God. So we understand what is being implied here, what is being stated here, that Enoch had faith in God. Enoch exercised the belief in God. Enoch was able to exercise the trust in God to treat things, treat those things that he had not yet seen, those things that were unseen to him as though they were reality because he trusted, he believed in God. So the scripture tells us that he pleased God. And then verse six lets us know that without faith, without this faith, without this belief, it's impossible to please God. So we know that Enoch, in order that he pleased God, he believed him, he had faith in him. If you are doubting who God is today, it's going to be a challenge for you to be able to please him. Because he says in his word, you can't please me without having faith. The two go together. To please him, I've got to believe him. I've had, I have to have faith in him. I'm challenging you. Won't you believe God today? Won't you believe God for what he says in his word? Won't you believe God for what he has called you to do? Won't you believe God for the will in his life? Won't you believe God? We've been talking about the baptism of the Spirit of God over the last couple of weeks. Won't you believe that God is a, that what God has promised he will do? And so if he said, wait for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and if he said he will baptize, Jesus would baptize you with the Spirit of God, that it is possible, why not believe him today? So Father and God, we thank you that God we know in your word to please you is to have faith in you. So God, we ask that you help. Help us today. Help us today to please you. Help us today to honor you. Help us today to have faith in what you say, what you do. We give you all praise and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 2021 was a bleak year if we're truthful with ourselves. COVID-19 did not only impact Christianity as we know it, but every aspect of our personal and professional lives as well. From bankers to bakers, all of us were affected by this pandemic. We have decided that the pandemic must not rob us of everything. Because some things are just too precious to lose. I'm sure I heard you say amen to that. We are taking back our fellowship, even if it looks or feels different. And with that in mind, we're taking the opportunity to announce Love Feast 2021, Fellowship Again, Sunday the 5th of December at 11 a.m. To register, simply visit our website, vpatt.com, and follow the link, I've already registered, or call our office at 226-5045 and submit your information. We're inviting you to be a part of Fellowship Again. And I can hear you say, how much will this cost me? For you, this time, absolutely nothing. We think this is important enough for us to make the sacrifice to ensure that we end this year on a high, doing some more fellowshipping as God would have asked us to do. We've got this. Remember, as we fellowship again, we do this together. together.